The introduction of the smart classroom at the St. Joseph's Convent is being regarded as a technological boost to the efforts already in place at the school to enhance learning at the institution. The multimedia space is designed to support several areas including interactive learning and recording of music and theatrical performances. It can also be used for video conferencing, virtual tours, and interactive sport theory and strategy. Ambassador of Taiwan to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen, says the classroom is a realization of efforts to create a truly connected education system through digital education and, most importantly, to build resilience within the education system through the creation, organization, and distribution of digital content. This multimedia smart classroom is one of two that we have built in St. Lucia, one in the north and the other in view for comprehensive secondary school. They can facilitate instruction by live stream the lessons and real-time interaction with students, provide students access to online content or library materials, and most importantly, provide access to education for marginalized groups who have challenges in physical learning environment. The room is designed to also provide access to resources and spaces to facilitate instruction, live streaming, and real-time interaction among students. Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward, says the education system in this 21st century cannot continue to be about chalk and talk but about incorporating technological advances in lesson delivery at every level of the education system. Not because it is fashionable, but because research has shown that when you incorporate technology into lesson delivery and the general scheme of education, your results tend to be a lot better than if you were to do things or continue to do things in a very ad hoc and arbitrary way. The St. Joseph's Convent is one of six secondary schools that is located within the Castries North District, of which Honorable Stevenson King is parliamentary representative. Mr. King referred to the all-girls secondary institution as a trailblazer in education and thanked the contribution made by the government of Taiwan to the overall development of St. Lucia. I believe the establishment of the multimedia smart classroom is yet another trailblazing event which sets the, the trend and continues to add the trend and certainly sets the target for others to follow. In a number of ways, the Republic of China, Taiwan has been a great partner with tremendous benefit to the people of this country. Teacher at the St. Joseph's Convent Secondary School, Sharon Elize, expressed the school's gratitude to the government of Taiwan for the provision of the multimedia classroom, saying that it will certainly enhance teaching and learning at the institution. We recognize that our students today utilize mobile gadgets and other technological tools and applications as their primary source of information, knowledge, and social discourse. It is therefore of paramount importance that we cater to their learning styles in meaningful, interactive, and fun ways. The Multimedia Smart Classroom was designed with the assistance of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, and it is designed to connect the SELCC to local institutions to support virtual coaching and professional activities. It will also support instructional activities, including lectures, demonstrations, cooperative learning, simulations, design, and testing. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney, reporting.